You can get them out, sweetie. I just wish they'd be gone. Hey piggy people, Skinny Pigs one here. So today's video is focused around Apple once again. If you guys don't know what's going on with Apple, up in the iCards, I'll leave a link to the video explaining. So we are two weeks and two days and the stones still have not come out. So plan B is going to be in action. So December 4th she goes back for another x-ray and possibly a procedure where she'll be sedated. A catheter will be put in her urethra and then some saline's going to be flushed through to see if we can't move those stones in case they're a bit stuck. So she's still able to pee and everything like that but my vet really thought that after one week she would have peed the stones out by now so it's kind of a question of are they not moving. So I drop her off first thing in the morning and she'll get an x-ray to compare to her first x-ray to see if they are in a different spot or not. And then according to the x-ray she'll be going to get sedated and as I said getting that flush which I really don't want to have to do. But also I don't want them to be stuck in there, I want them to get out. So we're going to see what happens. I would love if they passed before we get to that date. Hey, who's chewing? Oh, nobody's chewing. It's just Annabelle drinking the water really loudly. So we're still trying with lots of veggies. So I'm still doing loading her up on veggies and we have sitting here our little tub where she'll go and soak in. I find if she eats a ton of veggies, I can get her to pee about five or six times within like a 20 minute or less range, which is great. Which is really another reason why I can't understand why these stones aren't moving. Because, like, how can't they move from the pressure of peeing five to six times in a fairly short amount of time? So, it's frustrating. Um, I'm just trying to do the best that I can. And I'm happy that besides when she pees, she's comfortable. Like, you'd never know otherwise that anything is wrong. The last couple days she's been starting to pee herself again where she gets a bit wet down her one leg. So I don't know if that's indicative of the stones have moved position or not because for a while, for almost two weeks, when she was on her Medicam she stopped doing that. But now she just started doing it again and we are still on Medicam. So I don't know. Every time I put her in the warm water for her soak... I just am like, please let a stone come out. It would be so rewarding and so nice to know that they're gone. But what can you do, guys? So the flush of her urethra is like with the catheter put in and saline solution. And my vet said the hopes of that are that if the stones are kind of stuck in place, it'll, it'll move them. And she said also their hope would be that it would dilate her urethra just enough for them to move down. So who knows. And then I got all worried about, well, is that going to push them back into her bladder? And she said, of course, that could be potential, but not likely. So I don't know. I don't like any of this. I just wish there was some tiny magic tool that they had that they could go in get a hold of it and take it out. So I'm not sure. Anyway, just thought I would give you an update and let you know that we're still dealing with these darn bladder stones. I really thought they would have been gone by now too. But then I think of um, Barnaby when he had them in his bladder. He had seven. And I think it took a couple months before I could tell that they were all gone. But just because hers were already out of the bladder and in the urethra, I really thought that it wouldn't take long either. And now I get worried about, like, are they all clumped together and kind of stuck in place? And are they ever going to move out? Or what's our other option if this flush doesn't work? All of this is very stressful. Guinea pigs are very stressful. Apple just looked at me like, what are you talking about? So anyway guys, we will see you later and I will keep you posted 
about what's happening with Apple. I don't like piggies getting sedated or put under or anything like that, but I guess sometimes you have to do what you have to do. So in the meantime, before December 4th, we're still going to keep trying our best to get them out without having to go that route. Yeah, I keep eating. Gotta have more. You just have to stay in there, sweetie. So now she's in the warm water. We have it tilted so that her back end gets covered up over her bum. And she does have pads at the front there to keep her head up and her feet can have traction at the front. But I like to have her back end deeper in the water. So bare minimum, the warm water I feel at least would be somewhat relaxing. And it cleans her bum, so now that she's peeing on herself a little bit, at least we can clean that pee off quickly. My real hope was that it would make everything more pliable down there and a bit more comfortable for those stones to move out. So if you could have those stones come out when you pee next, that would be great. Keep your little tushy off the pad there. So she's peeing right now. Ooh, did we get something? Or is that just dry skin? Oh, sweetie. Okay, so that was a little more vocal. I just would love if those things would just come out. So it looks like it left some grainy bits, which is probably just like calcium deposits. That's something I'm worried about with those stones stuck in there. About like if any calcium's getting trapped in that really needs to be flushed out. So I just want this whole situation over with. I don't like it at all. It's only been made better that she's comfortable otherwise and eating and drinking and sleeping fine. Because otherwise I'd be a mess. You're good, sweetie. You're okay. I know you don't like this either. I'm just doing this to try to help you. It sucks. Yeah, so usually I'll keep her in here for probably about 10 or 15 minutes, roughly. And she'll usually pee at least four to five times. And then I'll go dry her off. And then when I put her... Back in the cage, she usually pees at least another time. So you just would think with all that power of the pee pushing through her urethra so many times in a short amount of time that they'd be coming out. Stupid stones. Alright guys, so I'll see you later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!